Dr. Disrespect is under heavy fire right now. He has a official response to this ginormous accusation that has been made against him. Response will be at the end. I wanna know your opinion on it, so make sure to stay to the end and tell me your opinion in the comments. First things first, Cody Connors. Who is Cody Connors? Cody Connors is an ex-Twitch employee that was a giant whistleblower on this Dr. Disrespect situation. He apparently runs some type of audio slash band, and um, he basically says time and time again, if you guys sell out my three concerts, then I'm gonna tell you guys why Dr. Disrespect got banned. And it all accumulates to this one tweet. He got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the existing, then existing Twitch Whispers product. Twitch Whispers is a product where Twitch streamers, your favorite ones, like me, could uh, personally message their fans and uh, Twitch goes through these and finds Dr. Disrespect sexting a minor, according to Cody Connors. Continuing, he says he was trying to meet her at TwitchCon. That is insider information. He was actively trying to meet her. The powers that be uh, read that in plain text, case closed, gang. So first things first, Cody Connors, you are not a good person. I wanna say this real fast. This is not a good whistleblow. This is not a good person thing to do. You purposefully said, sell out tickets to my concert so that I can tell you guys about a crime that was committing in the background. That's messed up. You are not a good person for doing that. You did not do this, bro. You are messed up for doing this. You ruined a man's life for concert tickets. With that being said, later on, it does find out that this is something that is real. And we basically first figure it out because a Midnight Society tweet. If you don't know what Midnight Society is, they are developing games that Dr. Disrespect is heavily involved upon. And they recently released a tweet that talked about Dr. Disrespect. Basically what this says is Guy Bame, who is Dr. Disrespect's real name, um, talked to them personally after these accusations came out and they decided to let him go. That is a personal third party investigation after talking to Dr. Disrespect where they choose to let him go. That was probably the greatest decision that they ever could have made. And I just want to sit here and read the Dr. Disrespect response with you guys. This is direct from Dr. Disrespect's mouth himself. The Twitch band. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the effing BS. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. Okay. First and foremost, I do, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. The uh, Society, the Midnight Society Game Studio is a uh, studio that is pre developing a game with Dr. Disrespect. They recently fired him over this specific ban. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I'd never want to jeopardize the culture that we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but the reasons outside, for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the ac accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the band. He is talking to, of course, Cody Connors and other Twitch uh, whistleblowers. Were there Twitch Whisper messages? That is a private platform. Twitch Whisper is just a, a function in Twitch that has now been discontinued where you can talk to your creators privately with an individual minor back in 2017. The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. First things first, I want to touch up on that. Did you have real intentions behind sexting a minor? Absolutely you did. The intentions were to sex the minor. That's all there is to it. Let's continue. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch. And that case was resolved by settlement. Let me make it clear. It was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. You cannot technically get in trouble for sexting minors. You can, however, get in trouble for trying to meet up with minors, which Twitch stopped. Twitch prevented a crime from being committed here. Continue. 
Now, from a moral standpoint, I'd absolutely like to take responsibility. I should never have entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I will freaking my own shit. This was stupid. Okay, I just realized what that was saying. I was trying to censor the curse words. He's going to own his stuff. Now, with all this said... Don't get it effing mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I can definitely agree with. I'm no effing predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me effing knows where I stand on things with those type of people. F that. That's a different level of disgust and I effing hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the F out of here with that S. So, all I'm going to say, you are, by all rights, someone who is not good for sending and doing these things. That is 100% clear. You should not be sending any type of message to a minor that is anything close to relationship-wise when you are in your t late 20s to 30s. That's just a fact. I even think it's weird if I ever did it and I'm 20 years old. Also, I have a wife, so that's a, never, a whole nother level. But continuing, it's weird. It's weird and saying, well, anybody who knows me says knows I'm so against that is not a good argument for this. I don't like that argument and I don't like to hear that. It's just stupid. Let's go ahead and continue. But I think I've said what I need to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support through all these years. We love you guys like you can't even imagine. I have the effing best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give an F about it, you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of S, that's fine. I'm not effing going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made that mistake all those years ago and I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off of my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, effing right. So first things first, do I believe in people changing? Absolutely. Do I believe that he actually is a pedophile for doing these things and doing having intentions to meet up with someone and Twitch stepping in to stop it? I don't. And the reason why is because because the act never happened and because he feels great remorse on this act and because it seems as if he was trying to stop the situation and he has a real problem, I would later on in a couple of years understand why he would still have supporters i understand why he would still have supporters would this be a turnoff for me supporting him ever again absolutely i'd say so i have watched clips of his many times i enjoy watching clips of his i enjoy watching youtube videos of his i do not enjoy this type of behavior i don't enjoy somebody doing something any anything close to a minor in any type of way they, they cannot protect themselves they cannot understand the the um the full idea behind what having a relationship with an adult means it's messed up it's fully messed up i would never ever want my worst enemy to be accused of something like this just because of how bad it is it is a terrible, terrible thing that he did here. I think he knows it's a terrible, terrible thing that he did here. That's why he's going on vacation. That's why he's doing these things. Can he come back and still have a career? I absolutely think that there's many people that would still support him after this. I personally will not. I want to know what your guys' opinion is in the comments, and I will see you, B-dubs, later.